Hey, freaks, how you doing? Hey, check it out. I uh, just got my Chaos Letter Pro a couple days ago. I still suck at it. I'm anxious to get good like some of them other cats out there, but you know what? Uh, you know, I'm having fun. Hey, check it out, though. Not a lot of reviews had the... Uh, had uh, anything about the, you know, whether or not you could put more sounds in here. I know they mentioned it, but they never told you how. Um, you, can't actually, you cannot actually put more sounds in the bank, but you can bring more wave files over into it um, to work with them at that time in real time. Um, all you do um, is go to the core website, which I'll show you. All right, first. All right, got your pro. All right, you got to make sure you got your USB going into your PC, okay, USB connection. That's the first thing. You don't need to do anything else over here, okay, nothing else. All right, you come over here, that's the software, but you simply go to the Korg website. Korg. Okay. Very simple process. Alright, here's the website. I go to support. It's very quick this way. Just click support. And you got two pull downs over here. You're going to go to Chaos Products. And your second pull down, you're going to go to Chaos Editor Pro. Click on search. And there you go. Castellator Pro, you got your four tabs. You're going to go to Downloads. Okay. And you got your three links. All right. Down at the bottom, the third link is the Pro Editor. Okay. These other two, this one worked for me, the USB MIDI driver. But the top one, for some reason, will not install. So if anybody's installed that, I kept getting an error message. The first, there was a few files in there. There was like three folders. Um, the one came up with the updater said I need to press C and D on my Chaos Leader Pro and record as you're turning it on to install the update, but it it wouldn't do anything. Um, the other XE file said something about it's not capable of doing it on. 64 version of Windows or something. I don't know. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. Um, basically, click on that link, download it. And once you get it downloaded, install it. And then once you install it, you click on a nice little icon and this bad boy opens up. Very simple. Uh, very user friendly. Pretty much self explanatory on everything. There's your four banks. Um, if you go to external control and global, you got all your settings. You got your uh, CC map, your global settings, for your MIDI, a whole nine. It's pretty cool. Anyway, we're going to go back to the loop recorder. Um, all right, just to show you how it's done, I already got one in there. But let me show you how hard it is to get one in there. It's very hard, I'll show you. Um, take you through the process here. All right, you're gonna come over here, grab a wave file, all right, or whatever you want to bring over, and drag it over and drop it. Let me rewind that because that that was kind of difficult. Rewind, uh, rewind it. Okay, slow motion. Drag. And drop into the box here. See the little box? All right, just drop it. And there you go. Okay. Now, here's the thing that I still haven't conquered: the volume. Now I've turned this volume down to 50. Okay, I've turned this bad boy down all the way to 50, and it still hasn't made a difference in the uh, the loop coming over sounds so loud in the pro. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. I'm still trying to figure it out. If anybody has messed with this and knows the answer to why the volume, how you adjust the volume, why they come, why it comes out so loud on the Pro, 
please leave me a comment so I know what the hell I'm doing. But check it out. From there, all you do. Right, matter of fact, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try and go down to 10. See what that does. And I'm going to put it on. You know what? I'm going to have to do this again. Once you pick a bank, you have to. Where'd I go here? All right, there we go. Right, let's pick another one. Let's go. Let's go this one. All right. All right. Now, mess with the volume. Okay, we'll put that down to 10. Got bank D set for it. All right, it's at 139, same BPM, 16. And all you do is you hit transmit. Boom. That little box is going to come up. You know, the dummy box, I call it. Uh, the operation will overwrite the loop recorder, blah, blah, blah. Hit yes. Boom, hit yes, and there's your progress bar, transmitting. All right, and you just wait for that. If you notice over here, you get your little green thing. It's, it's transmitting while it's transmitting. Boom. Okay. Now, one thing I didn't do was play it over here. You can play it. Make sure you got the right one or whatever, however you want to do that there. All right. Now you come over here. Remember? Bank D. And this is what this is the hard part now. You ready for this? Uh-oh. Wow. See how it didn't change the volume? They're coming out so loud. So I got to figure that part out. But... with that a little bit but anyway if anybody knows why the hell the volume see I had it set to 10 and it still came out mad loud so uh just hit me up in a comment but that's that's how you use the pro uh editor um I hope this helped out peace out